this video, we're going to be looking at Sharp Tools Dashboard Themes, which is super easy way to customize your dashboards using a theme. And you have all different kinds of options that didn't exist before. So if you have an existing dashboard or you're building a new dashboard, you will definitely want to use the theme feature. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to building the ultimate smart home. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is looking at dashboard themes. So this is just a very basic dashboard. All I did is added a bunch of light bulbs. Um, there's no background. The colors are just very basic. Um, so what we're going to be doing here is we're going to make this look a lot better really fast. So the first thing you need to do is go to the three dots in the bottom right corner and we need to go to configuration. And right here you have themes in the middle here. So if I come down here, I have, we have official themes. You can create a theme, you can do no theme, or this is a theme that I've already created. So say if I just choose this one here, this is one that I've already created. Click save. Now you can see that the dashboard has completely changed its look. It's completely different than what it was like before. All the colors have changed. The sizes of the text have changed. The background has changed. Everything has changed. So what you can do is you can make themes and then you can say, well, I'm going to apply this theme to this da dashboard, this theme to that dashboard. So let's go ahead and go back to our three dots configuration. And now let's choose on the theme dropdown. And we can also choose official themes. So here we have official themes. So if we choose this one here and click on save, then it's going to change the look of the theme drastically again. So let's go ahead and now create our own theme so you can see what options are under the themes. Also note, if you liked say the way this one looked, you could copy this theme to a new theme and then you could edit that theme to customize it the way you want it to be if you think this one is a good starting point. But really starting from scratch is not all that hard. So let's just start from the beginning. Also let's um, clear out the theme. So let's just tap on no theme and then let's save it. And now we're back to where we started. Now go to the three dots again, configuration. So click on the drop down, and now we're going to click create theme. So in here, what you're going to be doing is basically choosing your basic colors. So default, um, I'm gonna have my theme be this um, dark transparent gray and active. That's a good color for active. I'm gonna leave this other stuff alone for now and just click on save. All right, so now you can see that our November 20th theme has been created. And obviously I'm gonna change the name of that. So let's click on now, edit theme. All right, so at the top here, let's change our name. All right, so I'm just gonna call it new theme YouTube. And if you just tap off, now you can see that it is renamed. Um, and then here is where you can choose your background color and background image. So I'm going to choose my background color to just be black. Um, and then I'm going to choose my background image. So if we come in here, um, you can just choose um, one of these here. Um, that's the editorial picks. And these will rotate between um, a bunch of different pictures. Um, you also have Bing, and you could do image of the day, image of the week, and it will change daily or weekly. Or you can use any media just by using a media URL. So let's just go back to editor picks, and let's just choose space. And now let's go ahead and save this and see what it looks like on the dashboard. All right, so now you can see we have a space background. All of our tiles are a dark black. If we save the dashboard completely, if we tap on a light, then it's going to be a light transparent blue. 
So that's great. So we have a much better looking dashboard already, and now we can continue to customize this. So let's go back in and edit our theme. So we're just going to do edit theme. And here you can change your default colors. So we have the tile color as a transparent gray. And you can also change the content color as well. Let's use our content color to be a light gray. And then what you can do is you can see what it's going to look like up here. Um, since our tile is black, um, you can't really see it. So let's actually change our tile to be a little bit lighter. So you can just change um, any of these colors here and you will see the preview up here. I'm just going to change mine back. Then what you have here is add customizations. So here you can add a bunch of different customizations. So if we click add customization, you can round the corners, which I think looks really cool. Let's tap on that. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to add all of these customizations. So you can see that tile radius is now showing here. So if I tap on the plus sign again, I can choose the header color, footer color, shadow, border color, icon animation. So we've added every single option. So now if you hit the plus sign here, there is basically nothing to add. But say if you added um, you know, a border color and you didn't like how it looked and you really just didn't want to use borders at all, you can tap this and it will remove it um, from your customization on the next screen here. So it would take it off and it would unapply that feature. So up here, now you can see we have a bunch of other colors to choose from. So we have tile, content, header, footer, and border. So now we can change the header, which is be the default at the top here. Let's do a light purple. We can do the footer, and you can also change the border. Let's do that as a green. So now you can kind of see what our tiles are going to look like in their default state. And you can also change the radius just by using this slider here. So if we go all the way to this side, now you can see it's square. And if we go all the way to the right, now you can see it's pretty rounded at the corners here. Um, border width, you can also change the width of the border. So if you wanted them to be bold, you can be super bold anywhere in between. And as you drag over, it changes it. Let's just go somewhere in the middle. Now you can also do an icon animation. So if we tap on the drop down, we can do rotate. And then the icon would rotate. You have spin. You got pulse. Pulsate. Opacity pulse. Shake. Float buzz, and bounce. So I'm just going to put opacity pulse. It's kind of a calm one. Now you can also change the size of the header and footer. So if I change this to be tiny, you can see that this text got super small. And I can also choose extra large. So now you can see it's much larger. Um, the same thing with the footer font size. You can come down here. And you can say, um, let's just do that one as large. And you can also display a shadow. Um, you're not going to be able to see on this one because my tile is not a color. I think displaying a shadow is probably a good option. Now, when we come down to the active tile, this would be the second default tile. Um, you can see that the active tile is basically doing everything that this first default tile is doing. So basically all of the options that you chose up here flow down into the next style. But we didn't choose like a rounding. We didn't choose the border color. Um, now the colors are not changed because up here this one's light purple and this one's like a teal color. Um, but a lot of the other stuff did flow down here. Now if you did want to change this one in any way, um, say if we don't want these to be pulsing, we can click add customization and we can do icon animation. And right here, we can just choose none. And that will remove the icon animation that we set in our default tile. Also, you can add 
custom styles beyond the default and active style. So we're just going to click add style right here and it's going to come in the same as the active style, but you can obviously change anything here that you want to change. And I'm just gonna call this one security. All right, so once we get our security, we're gonna change our active to red and we can change this to be black maybe. And let's add another animation. And let's change the border color as well, border color. And let's change the border. I'll just make it red. It's fine. It's not going to look the best, but um, obviously you can change these to be any any way you want them to be. Also, the background color here. If you change this, um, it will show um, different in your preview. All right. So now we have our active style done, and we have our security style done. All we have to do is click on save. And let's save this. And now you can see that all of our stuff has changed. Um, now what we can do is we can edit each one of these tiles to use um, the custom style. Let's say if we wanted to edit, a, so I'm going to change this driveway light here. We're going to click on edit and we're going to go to style. Click on the style states. Before what this was was color and you would be able to change the colors um, to whatever you want but the style is just far more powerful because you can create as many styles as you want and then apply them. So on the on state, if you tap that, now we have the default active and security, and that's what is in our new theme YouTube style. So I can choose security here and click on done and click on save. And now you can see it didn't actually change because this is not active. So if I save the dashboard and now I turn on the driveway light by tapping it, now you can see that it uses that style. Another option is say you wanted to have maybe one tile be something that you didn't create a style for. That is easy as well. Just go down to the three dots, click on edit, and let's change the foyer light over here. Click on edit, tap off the style, and click on style states and click on the on and now you can see our three styles here obviously if you had more they would all show here but you can do a custom style so if you tap that off then you have all of the options that you had up here um, and you can add customizations exactly the same way so let's just change this to be green and I'll just change the tile radius. That way you can easily see. Um, one bad thing is it doesn't show you um, a preview here, um, but you're probably not gonna be doing anything too complicated if you're using a custom style, because otherwise, if you are, you might as well just make your own style in the theme, um, because that way it's much easier to use on other dashboards or in the future. So we're just gonna click on use style and just click on done and save so we click on save here and then if we tap on foyer light you can see that now it has a green background it is square um, and it has um, some of the other features that were set up in our default style so you can see this is super powerful you can create as many styles as you want so when you come in here go to configuration um, you can click on edit theme also, there is an advanced feature here. If you hit the control button and click edit theme, it'll actually open up a new window. So now we have an open um, theme editor on the right and the actual dashboard on the left. So instead of going and editing each time, um, what you can do is just let's say, let's change our default um, style. So let's change our border color white. And now over here, when you're active on this window, if you hit Control S for Control Save, it'll instantly change your, the look of your dashboard. So you can easily see um, what changes you are making and how they are going to look when you get out. So we just made our border a little bit smaller and let's actually change the animation to be none and just hit Control S. All right, so you can see that our default style, which are the ones that are not on, 
they changed exactly the way we wanted them to be. And we can just change this to be medium, medium, control S, bam, saved. So that is a much easier way if you want to see exactly what's going to happen with your dashboard. Also note, um, when you do resize your dashboard, whatever device you're going to be using your dashboard on, you want to be sure that the text size is going to work. So, you know, if your text size looks off and you have it to the right width of your device, say a tablet would be maybe this width, um, and you say, well, those look pretty good. But when you go to your tablet, the text is too small or something, you might want to change the text size. So the way you can do that, let's open up our editor again on the side here. If you click on medium, you can also choose custom. If I chose custom, then what I can do is I can put in a percentage here. So if I put in like say 150 and control S, now you can see that my labels are quite a bit larger. So if you run into that situation where your tablet text is just way too small, um, you may just have to come in here and use the header font size and footer font size to be custom and then just put in the percentage that you think you need. I would suggest, you know, if you're gonna have certain tiles be a certain way, you would definitely want to create a style for those tiles. Um, just add a style, any, as many styles as you want, you can add to a theme. Um, you can also copy themes. Say if you had a theme and you really liked it and you got sick of it and then you wanted to change to another theme, you could just create a new theme and click apply and that's it. And then two months from now, you may wanna go back to the old theme. You know, you, the, the possibilities here are endless and you can see customizing things is just super easy. Hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. Also check out the other videos on the screen now and I will see you in the next video.